Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Zoo Tycoon 2. That's right, we played Zoo Tycoon on the uh, on the way up to the Planet Zoo beta. I thought it's only fit to play Zoo Tycoon 2 on the way up to full release. So we're going to be diving into this one all week, uh, having to play around with it. I've never played this before, if I'm honest with you. I play Zoo Tycoon quite a lot, never played 2, never had a PC that could run 3D graphics for quite a few years. So totally missed out on Zoo Tycoon 2, Rollercoaster Tycoon 3. All of those, I stuck with the isometric versions for so long. Um, so I came in and did a couple of tutorials for this, and I also spent the best part of a day trying to um, to get some mods working, but for some reason, it just constantly crashes, unfortunately. I don't know whether it's just the copy I have, or I think well, maybe the problem is a lot of the mods um, uh, seem to be work with the complete edition, and this is just the basic single game. I can't buy it digitally online anywhere here in Canada, so I've had to buy the um, a physical copy from the States actually on eBay, and it's been sent over, and it is just the original version. So we are just going to be playing the original version of this game. Um, there's a hell of a lot going on here, though, isn't it, for a sandbox mode? I suppose we're going to have to clear some of this out. So let's start off with... Uh, let's just start... Do we have to paint that, do we? Paint, the, paint all that, get rid of all that. All of this, gotta go, gotta go, we'll sort all this out. So yeah, plan is here just to kind of have some fun with it. I don't expect us to be doing any like crazy detailed um, exhibits or whatever. And like I say, it is the base game. I know I've been watching a few uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 channels on YouTube who are, who are able to sort of function with loads of the mods and stuff. And I mean, wow, it's really quite amazing some of the stuff they can do. Um, but yeah, I just, to be honest with you, this is, this is, Total filler, okay? This is total filler. So I'm not too worried about doing all of that, really. More it's more just sort of having fun with the game. Um, okay, so, grass. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how do, we, how do we paint grass? But that's, we're not in grassland, are we? We're in temperate, temperate forest grass. There we go. That looks more like it, doesn't it? So let's close all this lake up for now. We'll probably use some of this later on. It actually looks pretty good, but... Um, for now, I kind of want to close that all off. There we go. And maybe a little of that there. Okay, and then there's a little bit of fence there. Look, we've got to get rid of it. Okay, so here's our sort of starting area. Let's clear that out. Good stuff. So, what animals do we have? They're all unlocked. Like I say, we're playing sandbox. I think there's 30 to choose from. I was hoping... Oh, I don't think they are. I was hoping for flamingos. Yes, flamingos. There we go. Got to have flamingos as you come in. Right, that's standard. That every zoo I ever make is going to have flamingos as you come in. So let's um, look at some paths. Here we go. Uh, so I quite like that stone path that we just had down, but kind of want to do it sort of myself. So let's bring that to about there. There we go. And maybe bring that down to here. That's good. Okay, maybe we'll bring those out a little that way. There's this weird like double grid thing going on here. So you can either build on this smaller grid or this larger isometric grids, which is kind of cool. Um, but for now, we're just going to bring up some stuff this way. It does mean that paths on an angle are wider, which is kind of weird. Okay. So there's going to be our... Um, oh, there we go. We can do bits like that. That's good. That's good. I like that. There we go. No, oh, but not like that. <laughs> that didn't quite work. How old did it too? Uh, and we can get rid of that edge case. Do you know what? Let's just have another go at the whole of this one. Now we know what's going on. I think we went to... There we go. And then I just want to kind of paint. Okay, that'll do. There we go. And then we can do the same on that side, right? Okay, there, that's near enough equal. That's fine. Okay, so fence panels then. Let's have a look uh, here, fencing. So we'll start with it quite low, I guess, because these are flamingos, right? They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna run off. Which one do I? I, I, I do quite like the rope. Um, moderately durable fencing option that is both decorative and an effective barrier. Okay, that sounds good. So I'm hoping we can kind of. Bring that around here and hope it isn't a problem that it's sort of touching the path. I hope. There we go. So we'll do that there. And then after that, we'll go for uh, more of a traditional fence. So we'll come down this way and then that way. And I'm hoping that makes an exhibit. I don't know. We'll try. 
We can place a gate. So we can place a gate over here. Yeah, there we go. That's exhibit gate. So I'm pretty sure that's made an exhibit. Yeah. So let's come into the paint then and add some water. That's deep water. Oh, and deep and shallow water. Okay, so we want, I mean, that's gotta be deep water, right? It's gonna be a little bit funky because of the path, but that's okay. And then here we want a lot of shallow water. And, oh, you're just dirt, okay. So let's put some of the animals in and see what they need. So here we're going for males. So let's have two, three males and uh, lots of, oh, hello, lots of, it's just blocking, okay. So now we need to see what you all need. So is there a pause? Yes, okay, good. We want to pause because they're not going to be happy, right? They're not going to be happy at all. So uh, here we go. This They want wetlands. Okay, so they want wetlands water. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, so select grass. Right, I see. So we paint grass like that. Oh, we paint up to the the, uh, the fence. That's awesome. Okay, so dirt. Is that already done? Okay, so dirt's already done. So we want it. That kind of needs to be shallow water up until... But Oh, there you go. It does actually paint in the right ground. No, it doesn't. So we go. Never mind. So I'm hoping that's okay. Shallow water. They, that's what they normally would have, right? And then we can click here. I, I, I remember this from the tutorial. It will kind of show you the, the correct plants that they want. So... Let's, uh, uh, if I can remind myself how to rotate stuff or to, oh, plants, no, plants rotate themselves, right? Yeah, okay. Um, and we'll have a few of these ones in as well. They're nice, aren't they? There we go. We want to kind of keep it relatively open at the front so as people can actually see the flamingos. What are these? Oh, hello plants and stuff yeah 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 so my worry is that unfortunately these are on the grid one of the one of the mods that i really wanted um lets you free place this sort of stuff and but unfortunately like i say just pretty much anything i put in was just um was just was just goosing up the game unfortunately so it does mean that um oh there's rotate there we go so we can we are a little bit limited as far as sort of how the thing looks goes because we I, I, what I would like to do is really fill that all in with rot work but yeah it's just going to be one of those things I guess uh, here we can get some what are you like a dead tree oh, okay so yeah really what I would like to do is I suppose we can do this kind of stuff along a little bit just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural but the problem is it doesn't overlap with any of the uh, any of the rock work right so we are a little limited there. Pyrus, this normally goes along the along the. See there, I'd like to be able to place some there, you see, but unfortunately, yet it will not let us. Uh, okay, that looks that looks quite cute. So I'm going to see how they feel about that. Let's unpause. Oof, oof, it's all gone in. Look. So what do you need? Oh, oh, space is critical. So it's no more space. Okay, so let's give that a pause then, and we can totally give them more space. So. Let's come in with this fence here. Uh, actually, no, let's come in with this wooden slab fence. A bit more uh, uh, nice to look at. And we'll come into there, and then we'll do windowed slatted fence for a couple so people can see in. And then out this way. Oh, that we've got a weird curve there, but I kind of like it. All right. Um, and now we can get rid of this. Oh, that's got rid of a whole tree. Whoops. Um, gate. Whoops. We'll see the gate around the back there until I figure out what's going on. Okay, so now we can come in and... Oh, no, we don't want to paint water. We want to paint, like, tree... Uh, oh! Oh, so that one just automatically puts tree in? Oh, that puts... Oh! That's interesting. So that one there is grass. This one here is like everything but the trees, basically. Look, it's put it's put all sorts in there. Oh, that's kind of neat, actually, that you can just, if you want to do it rough and ready, you can do it that way. But, I mean, we, we want to go for something a bit more specific, right? So I'll put some of these nice trees in here. Uh, maybe one of these big ones here. There we go. So let's see if that's enough room for you. Okay, satisfied space. So, so food and water, obviously, are the are the next sort of 
thing we need. They do go and sit in the water here. That's good. That's what we really want. Um, so food and water then. How do we do that? Is that here? Oh, okay. Right. So what's that? Food dish with water in it. Food dish with shrimp in it. Trough with water. Trough with shrimp. And metal trough with water. So let's go for a trough with shrimp in. Um, let's put it over... Uh, here. There you go. Now water, I would, I'm assuming that that would work, but if not, let's put down some water for them all as well. Hopefully that's enough for them. There we go. They move around a lot compared to how they should. <laughs> um, but that's fine. So water, so all the needs are settled now, I think. There's enough of them. Oh, housing is pressing. Okay, right. So housing, is that this one? So there's no animal shelters for it, so... What are we supposed to do there? They do have some rubber toys that they like, so I'll put them around. Can't imagine they're going to bump them about, but whatever. And uh, I guess that's it. There we have a flamingo. Okay. One thing I would like to do then is carry this wood around the back because the, the metal doesn't look great, does it? Let's be honest. So let's take that from there. Hopefully this just paints over. He does. Perfect. Um, that's what we want. Okay. Alright, so now we need a keeper to look after those, I guess, right? Maintenance worker. Zookeeper. Boom. You're in, pal. Get to it. Get your work done. Oh, people are coming in, look. People are coming in and seeing the flamingos. How do you, how do you feel about flamingos? Flamingo 3 is shaking itself off. Okay, is that good? Looks like needed to scratch an itch. Needed to scratch an itch. Okay, it's grooming itself. Is that, is that fine? Is that telling me that it needs a scratching post or something? Oh, they look good though, don't they? Look. This one needs a wash. Stinking. That one's just having a mouth off. Oh, this guy comes around and cleans them all up. Are you going to clean that bit of poo up there? Oh no, just give them a little, give them a good scritch. Give them a good scritch, scritch, scritch. Okay, well people seem to be pretty happy about the flamingos. That's good. I guess, um... We could probably look at putting another animal in then, I suppose. Maybe down here, and then use this space for a couple of like zoo buildings. So come on then, what else would you have towards the start of a... Oh look, a beaver! That's quite a sort of starting off animal, right? Lemurs, penguins... Both. The one thing I will say about the zoo-sycoon animals is they're quite impressive in nature. There's not many like, like middling animals. One thing I really quite like about zoo, uh, Planet Zoo is they've got a lot of middling animals in there. I'm going to go for peafowl. I think we should have a peafowl exhibit here. Again, normally I would like them just to wander around, but I know that's not a thing in this game. I'm, I'm going to have a good guess it's not a thing in this game. So let's go around here, 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 here. Uh, one more that way. Flingo is in a really dirty exhibit. Why are you in a really dirty exhibit? Is it because you're all pooing? Well... Start pooing. Uh, we'll go to there and we'll just box it round this way. There we go. Okay, so we've got lots of birds to come in. I'm going to put... Do I risk two males or are they going to kick off? Four females. There we go. So let's pause again make sure we get everything right for him. I like the fact that it's not like you need one more square of dirt like it was in the original one, but I do think maybe a little bit of uh, gamification there probably wouldn't be so bad. So they want temperate forests, which we're kind of in already, so the groundwork is fine, right? So tree-wise, they want these... Uh, oh, they're nice, aren't they? Look at that. Um, oops. There we go. Two of them, another one over there. And are these little trees? Oh, just slightly. They're like a birch, right? They look good. Uh, put some of those in. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing food. Oh, okay. Look at this. They've got a log, hollow log with bananas in, or a hollow log with apples in. I quite like the idea of that up the front there for people to see. But food dish with grass. Oh, or just like a pile of grass. I think maybe a pile of grass is probably better up the back there. And a and a couple of water bowls around. Are they they're even different grid look. That's like a triangular grid. Um, and you would like a block of ice with a banana in it, or a lookout post. What's that? For? Are we on the right animal here? What on earth is it going to do with a lookout post? 
I want to put one in just to kind of see what happens, but I can't imagine that's for peafowls to enjoy, right? An uh, elevated nest box for them to chill out in. Let's put one of them over here then. That looks more like it. That one, though, I'd be pretty impressed if it gets up that ladder. That'd be well good. Um, okay, and we need a we need a gaze on this one as well, which we'll put up the back there. Actually, no, we won't. We'll put it over here. Can we delete that one without it deleting the path? No. Uh, oops. That one lower down. Okay. So there's our two animals. I, I would say that's that's good for episode one. We've got two animals in. But what I would like to see is... How can we... Oh, there we go. Left click. Okay. What I would like to see is a bit more infrastructure, I guess, going to place. Let's put a zookeeper down there and we'll stick a first maintenance worker down as well, I suppose. So pathwise, then, I want to bring this down here and bring this down like this way, but there we go. So we've got a nice little opening here that will eventually head off down there, but for now, actually, we'll probably just close that in to give us a nice space there. I'm wondering, do we have things like, uh, yeah, here we go, so like fountains and stuff. Um, oh, what are these little statues? Oh, bouncy ride. Oh, that's awesome. Love those bouncy rides. Okay. Oh, wow. Fountains are pretty big. Okay. All the fountains are huge. Never mind. Oh, I like the archway, though. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I like stuff like that. I don't like that one there, but I like stuff like that. Let's, uh, oops, let's jump in. Where were, where was all that? Here. So a gazebo is kind of nice. A fence is blocking gazebo. How about gazebo there? Does that work? Hmm, not really, does it? Uh, let's just sell it. I wonder if there's a way of rotating stuff. I can't remember. See Rhino statue. If it just went on the half on the half grid there, it'd be great. Uh, these things are great. Love these. Let's get one of those in there for the for the flamingos. Lamp posts. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now you're talking. They stick out a little. Let me put them there. Two lamp posts there. Of a park map uh, over here there and oh you need thingy buckets as well don't you donation buckets that's how most of the money comes in right so let's get some of them in uh not there or there why not because people are in the way it's kind of exactly where i would like it oh it's in the classes is in water right okay uh let's just stick one there then and one there. See if that's enough. Tell me they're in dirty. What? What's dirty? Exercise, rest, thirst, hunger, environment need, privacy, hygiene need, satisfied. Well, maybe the keeper will just get to work on on clearing them out, right? Um, I would like some flowers. That's a lot of flowers. Here we yeah, now you're talking. Um can't get any of them in. Cause there's stuff blocking them. Do we have slightly smaller ones? Okay, there's those ones there. How about smaller than that? Okay. Uh let me see. There and there maybe. Oh, and they go under the plant, that's good. Okay, we'll leave that like that. Um Maybe just fence it off with this thing. There we go. There we go, nice little plaza there as you're walking past flamingos and uh, peacocks. And I guess a couple of food places is probably the next best thing then, right? So we've got a compost building, so let's nice money making operation that doesn't smell so good. Okay, restroom. Yeah, let's get a restroom in right by the entrance here. Um, I was really hoping... I'm just pressing all the keys that would normally rotate something. Uh, R, E, Q, A, D, W, S, Z, X, C, Tab. Oh no, Tab gives us a nice big map, okay. So I'm guessing clicking and dragging is it, but I... 
Problem is it places it somewhere I don't want it to place it. So we're going to have to do it that way, maybe. There we go. And then we can delete that one. Yes. So then there's a restroom over there where it's a good spot for one. And then here we'll have some, what's this? Oh, pony rides. Oh, I like it. Go on, let's get some pony rides in there. But again, I don't want to put it there. That's not where I want it to go. And we can't move it. There's got to be a rotate figure. Oh, here we go. So the, so the functionality is there, but... Yeah, I'd maybe like it. To be able to do it a little bit thingy. So insect house, reptile house, animal photo booth. What earth is that? Oh, you stick your head through it. Gift shop, there we go. Exit through the gift shop, as always. Don't know what I've pressed there. Exit through the gift shop. We want that that way around. So we'll pull that back to here. Right. And then hot dog. And what's that one? Oh, hamburger, hot dog. So no, we want it like a drink one as well then, don't we? Subs, salad. S salad, let's give people a healthy option. Salad. Come on, where's drinks? There we go, water. Oh, and people can walk off the ground. Off the uh, off the ground. That's interesting. I was gonna actually just use a different path covering. Um, rock path. Zookeeper can't reach peafowl. Oh. There we go. I was gonna do something like that. We'll sort the zookeepers not reaching peafowls in a moment. But I wanted to get some. Uh, some benches down. It says that people have got somewhere to sit and have some grubby grub. Here we go. Why can't you get peafowl? You're in peafowl. Zookeeper is in peafowl. So I don't know what you're on about. Let's do a concrete path that's suitable for uh, zookeepers. Where is the um, entrance? There we go. So let's bring that down to here. Oops. And then that one can come up there, and that will eventually be where we carry on. Oops. Okay, so we've got peafowl, and we've got... Uh, that door's wide open. Why is that like that? I hope that's because somebody's just walked out of it. I want to see them hanging out on these things. Oh, there's somebody sat right on top of the nest, look. You silly sausage. People seem to be quite happy about them, though. Coming in and seeing them. How do we look at like a, a general how do you do the zoo sort of thing? That's messages, that's money, right? Okay, oh, there we go. Then animal adoption costs us a lot of money in January. February, admissions income 60, cash grants 30, nice. Donations 600. Okay, so money's coming in. So what else have we got? Can we just see like a, how people are enjoying it? Oh, here we go. Number of animals. Oh, this is zoo fame. Educational habitats, guests are in, what, what? Guests are educated by seeing animals in their native habitats. If you make sure each animal is in your zoo is in a proper habitat, your zoo is more educational. Okay, good. Guests like having a good view of healthy, happy, and active animals. Guest happiness is, okay, so fair to middling. We have no goals. But we can release stuff into the wild. Oh, look. Let me just get a little pony ride. That is awesome. Do, 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 do. Good stuff. All right, we've got a food court. Like I say, I know with mods you can do like full building structures and everything. I just, I spent a whole day trying to get them working and, and even the slight, the only one I might try again is the, is the free placement of stuff because that would really help us, I think. But um, yeah, it, it, but you know what? I'm going to have fun with this, playing with some animals ready for the Planet Zoo release next week. I'm kind of super excited for that now. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it as well. If you have, uh, you know, the usual like and all that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. Till next time, be good.